How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and teachers? I'm Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business. And today, some very enchanting business in this business of sound. More exactly, some sounding pipes, singing pipes. Some mechanically excited, some thermally excited. All very, very exciting. And I hope you will engage in it yourself. Consider the following. Let's look over here. I have a box which I call a wind chest. It is a tight-fitting box with a, a nozzle here so I can blow some air and some holes in which I can fit a pipe. Now, these two pipes that I have are of identical length, and I'm going to blow them with some air, and they should be in resonance and sound alike. Watch this now. They are in resonance. Now I have on this one a sliding sleeve, which allows me to change the length of the pipe. If the length of a pipe is changed, its natural frequency changes, and the pitch it emits changes. Now, if then I have two pipes emitting different frequencies, we should have, at certain symmetric intervals, a thing we call beats, which you will hear when I change the length of this pipe with a sliding sleeve. Now listen carefully, listen. The greater the difference in length, the greater the difference in frequency, and hence the greater the number of beats per second, or the beat frequency. So I change the pitch of one of these pipes by changing its length. How else can I change its pitch? Answer, by changing the density of the medium with which it is blown. I can do this in two ways. Supposing I heat the wall of this pipe. The air inside is heated, the velocity of sound increases, the pipe changes in pitch, and we should hear beats again. I'm going to play a burner on this pipe, blowing it. Listen now. with it. the beautiful behavior of singing pipes and their pitch change by changing their lengths and their, uh, the thermal properties of the medium. Now consider this. This will enchant you absolutely. Uh-oh, it's going to enchant me because I'm going to have some trouble. I have here a metal pipe, two metal pipes, with a wire screen inside. Here is a piece of screen the like of which you have in your window. I have lodged a bit in there at a certain position. Now these two pipes are of identical properties except their length, one longer than the other. I'm going to heat the screen in one of these pipes. Listen now. Now I'm going to heat the screen in the other one, which is a longer pipe and should have a lower pitch. And as I'm led to say, 
Having filled it with music, the music can't fall out when the pipe is like this. But watch me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All the music fell out. So I'll fill it with music again. I'll fill it with music again. And I say it can't fall out like this. But it can when I turn it up. There it is. And I think that's wonderful. Now, if they have, uh, if they have different natural frequencies, and I excite them together, we should have this mechanism called beats, which I will give you evidence of forthwith. Listen. Beats. Wonderful. Now, here I have another such pipe, longer, well, again with a piece of wire screen, and if I don't run into any trouble, I'm going to fill this pipe with music, we should see the whole length of the pipe. Listen now. Is not that an amazing acoustic life? Listen. Incredible. Now I have one a little longer. Listen. I fill it with music. Now, I should tell you, parenthetically, that the physics of thermally excited pipes is very difficult. Very low. Another one longer still. Like the steamboat on the Mississippi. Notice how long the acoustic life. Incredible. A longer one still. Listen now. Listen. That's more like the steamboat on the Mississippi. And there the music can't fall out. Now, I hope the rest of it will fall out. I think this is terrific. Thermally excited pipes. Now, these are metal pipes, and they have a wire screen in them. Let me show you what it looks like here in a sketch. There is the pipe, and there is a screen put in there in a certain position which you can get experimentally. Now, metal pipes with a wire screen. And you observe that, you observe, oh, that's a little block to handle. You observed that this pipe emits its music after I remove it from the source of thermal energy. <clears throat> I'm absolutely enchanted how long this lives. the whole show on this one pipe. Remember, metal pipes, wire screen, they sang, as we say, after they were thermally energized. Now, a new business. Oh-ho! I have here a cardboard pipe, the like of which rugs come rolled on. And as I am always given to ask a student, look inside. Nothing in there. Right, he says. Wrong. Filled with air. Watch that. Now watch this pipe. No screen in there. Watch it. Uh -oh. Pipe so long, such a natural frequency. A longer pipe. Lower pitch. And a longer pipe still.
Now, I'm going to have to try something that requires a little astute doing here. I have a very short pipe, but very large cross-section. Nothing in there except air. No screen, cardboard. I'm going to try to excite this. Calls for very special, special doing. It may not work. So then don't forget, don't forget, don't you ever say, Professor, it failed. No, no. I do not have maybe the right requirements for nature. Let's try it. You'll notice that I am supplying much more thermal energy for a bigger volume of air. Listen. Uh-oh. I'm in a little trouble. So we'll just take a little more time. We'll just take a little more time. We'll just take a little more time. I'll try it once more. No, I don't have enough heat energy there. Let me try one more. Shorter. But since I have a moment or two left, I want to go back to some of these because I think they're terrific. I hope you see, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, that I am having much abundant fun, which is the only reason, really, why I'm doing this. Because I'm too old to work for any other reason. Just fun, that's all. I am stubborn enough to want to try this again. I'm going to turn up my heat. No, having a little trouble. Not the right heat energy. Let me try one more of the metal ones. Notice, I'm filling this with music. It is not singing while being energized. Now it is. I say that is quite like a sacred hymn. Very quiet and peaceful to my soul. And so, what can you do? Go to a junk shop, get yourself some metal pipes, take some screen, window screen. If you can't get any anywhere, cut some out of your window. Take a glob of it, push it up into the pipe, get a burner or a blowtorch, and you have singing pipes with much delight and enchantment and abundant fun, which is really the greatest virtue to be gotten from study, intellectual fun. And I thank you for listening.